So it wasn't until 2019 or 2020 that I really get into cameras and photography and started taking my first ever photos. So in the short two years that I've tried my hand at photography, I've tried, you know, the main trends, the common trends that everyone does, like the faded look or the teal and orange travel photo or even trying to replicate the old style like film look. And all of that has led to now where I've kind of settled on a moody teal and orange or like desaturated color look. I would say these past two years in photography have sort of guided me to the style that I'm at now, which was sort of created by the limitations and expectations of the camera gear I was using. For example, I recently saved up a bunch of money to buy a 50mm 1.4 lens, which arrived around two months ago, and which I absolutely love using for portrait photography. But I wouldn't have been able to take photos of this look if I had bought, say, a 200mm lens instead. And all this is not to say that everyone with a 50mm 1.4 lens is going to have the same type of photos or the same style. And I don't want to oversimplify the generation of photography styles, but I do believe that gear has a big impact. So this got me wondering, what if, since I got my first ever camera, I had never changed cameras? <laughs> and even though I know I said I started photography in 2019, my first ever camera came during the Christmas of 2008 when I was eight years old, my parents got me a Kodak C713 Easy Share thingy. <laughs> is, that what, is that the right name? C713 Easy Share. Boom, I got it. Back when we were younger, my brother and I would take photos on our parents' iPhone 2s or like the desktop webcam cameras, and they'd usually turn out slightly embarrassing. Hello, I'm in Sepia Land. And then when I was eight for Christmas, my parents got me this camera and I was absolutely over the moon, super, super excited. Let me show you some of its features. Seven megapixels, 2.4 inch screen, 36 to 108 millimeter lens equivalent, three times optical zoom, and a built-in flash. Whoa. <laughs> but yeah, on a serious note, a lot of limitations and drastically different expectations that you're gonna have if you're taking photos on this camera compared to that camera over there. So this is what it would look like if I was vlogging on the Kodak instead of on my Sony. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's to, be ex it's to be expected, it's like 13, 14, 15 years old, so... But I think because of this, it'll force me to get creative and try my hand at taking photos in a style that I'm less accustomed to. I think trying different styles and putting limitations on what you're able to do, trying these little challenges, can help you increase your skills as a photographer and probably also have an impact on your own personal style as well. The creative skills required for different genres often cross over in photography. So as you try out one area of photography, those skills could also help you in other areas too. So I've planned out two different shoots with two different people, one with my friend Delia and another one with my brother Nico. And I'm also gonna go out one day and just try and take some street photography as well. <laughs> so shooting with Delia was super fun. She had booked out a hotel room for a shoot with another photographer. So I kind of gate crashed their photography session, but they were both cool with it and it was all good. <laughs> when we arrived, the main thing that stood out was the bathtub and they had already filled it up with water and some milk and some roses as well, because they were doing a photo shoot in there beforehand. So super lucky and was able to use the bathtub as well. However, we started off the shoot with Delia in the bed with a rose. And I think a couple of the shots turned out quite well. We then went to the bath because it just looked really nice and I think the nicest part of that room was actually the bathtub. Around the bathtub there's a really nice glass wall which was also fun to play with. I really like getting the reflections of the flash as well as other lights in the room. It's 5.15 in the morning right now and I'm heading in to Shamana to try and do some street photography. I'm gonna try and catch the sunrise, and sunrise is at 6.15, so we should be there just in time um, for the sunrise to try and catch some cool light. So for the street photography, this is my first time really actually going out and shooting in this style, shooting street photography. So I wasn't expecting too much out of it, especially with the quality of the camera. But looking back, I think it wasn't too bad. So I arrived in Shengwan at around 6 and walked around a bit until I reached Sainpun. Most of the photos didn't turn out too well until the sun came up because of the camera shake. But I love this one with the two men outside the shop and the only light coming from the shop. I then went into the street market before anyone arrived, which was kind of nice. I really liked this shot of the beef stall, as well as this man who owns a chicken stall too. He was super nice and really into taking photos, 
I'd asked him if he wanted to take a photo and he excitedly said yes. After the sun came up, it made it a whole lot easier and I was mainly focused on trying to find interesting compositions. People maybe like walking through or riding a bike through or like pushing a trolley through. I think I think those were all quite interesting to take photos of. I feel like as I went through taking these photos, I was more documenting as opposed to photographing, which I feel is a fun way of taking the pressure off, especially when the camera that you're using is somewhat lacking. I often ask people if they would be all right to be in the photos, and when they said yes, in my opinion, it was probably the most fun part of this whole shoot because you got to interact with them and yeah, basically just take photos with people you wouldn't have otherwise taken photos with. Finally shooting Nico, we kind of just went up and wanted to have a little bit of fun, but they still turned out quite well. I think with this camera, I like playing with the reflections and the flash as well. For example, this photo of him in the car with the windows down kind of looked like a double exposure with the mountains and the trees reflecting off of the window in the background. We did some skating shots and climbed up this mountain because we saw some bushes that his shirt matched quite well. And all in all, I'm a fan. So after all this, I think it's time to put the camera back on the shelf, at least for now. But I did enjoy using it and I found it to be a cool challenge. And I would recommend everyone trying to go back a generation from what they're used to, especially if they're new to photography like me. So check out Delia and Nico's Instagrams. I'll link them in the description below. I hope you enjoyed the video. It's slightly different from what I'm used to uploading. Uh, but if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.